the Galactic Free Press Update. Disclosure movement by the people has begun. Bringing humanity home. Energy and event update. With love from the Galactic Center. Greetings, love beings. As anticipated, huge shifting has been occurring in the past 72 hours, with more on the way. What has also occurred is the planet has moved up in frequency, and we will be riding this onward and upward. We feel the very first signs of the movement for the people's disclosure is beginning to unfold as more begin awakening. Yesterday, we had our first eclipse, well, Thursday, we had our first eclipse of a set of three incoming eclipses, which will be bring us intense acceleration. We just went through the full moon in Scorpio, the Festival of Christ, which is the beginning of the Wasic Festivals, and the first of three powerful eclipses arriving for the planet within the next 30 days. These eclipses with the festivals will be assisting us in many ways, and they do represent intense change. Quoted from Reverend Christine Mallorys, The Festival of the Christ, April 25th, was, is, the first festival of the three, and usually falls around Easter. This year it did not, as the Easter holiday was earlier, which also signifies the times of changes of removing the old pantheons. On April 25th, we experienced an amazing festival of the Christ. On its own, this energy has brought us life-changing events, and with the lunar eclipse, we, we were deeply affected and deeply changed." End of quote. These foundational energies for change were set in place during the same time period last year. These eclipses will assist us in magnifying the new Earth energy coming in and facilitate energy movement for the light. Many doors to your new lives will begin opening and or revealed. These eclipses also represent trigger points for events to occur according to the divine plan. This last full moon was about hidden truths being revealed, so that energetic space opened up for more love to enter the planet. This past full moon contained intense transformational energy, and many are probably feeling this. Through Irma K. Sawyer, the full moon message. The high aspect of Scorpio energy is about deep truth, which in itself can bring healing and regenerative power. You are that which you seek. This is a time to bring this truth home, so to speak. In times of an eclipse, there is a shadow cast and a darkening of the light. It also represents a cosmic gateway moment in between worlds. In moments of cosmic stillness, there is great power and potential for insight. Intend to be connected to your highest soul's wisdom, and so it is, the keepers, end of quote. And quoted from Star Sister Marcia. On Thursday, a very powerful process of healing and metamorphosis began for many of us, and this will be a personal turning point. Eclipses are renowned for bringing sudden, unpredictable, sometimes shocking change. This is just the first of three eclipses that will occur within the next month, along with the third world-changing square of Uranus, the Awakener, and Pluto, the Transformer. Like every lunar eclipse, this one coincided with a full moon. The Scorpio full moon that comes each year when the sun is in Taurus is known throughout Asia as the Wasif Moon. Also known as the Buddha Moon, it celebrates the birth, the enlightenment, and the death of Buddha. It reminds us that the process of shedding our illusions and false selves is as intense as that of giving physical birth. End of quote. Many are now confirming with us we are in the final stages of some huge transformation transformations for the first waivers on the planet as they integrate onto the unity grid 
and begin the co-creation of the new earth. These will be assisted by our upcoming eclipses and continue the rest of this year. As a result, we will have another huge influx of new awakenings. All divine roles are activated as you are present in the moment of now. All will and is being revealed. Quoted from Maline Lafont, An extremely uplifting and beautiful time is just around the corner for all of you due to the upcoming eclipses arriving in the course of one month. They will surely bring about much in your reality, even more than has been the case up until now. And everything builds slowly but surely up to your genuinely real reality, which unfolds itself from your heart and from your inner self. The upcoming three eclipses are not only going to disengage much, but also trigger a lot in your reality. So be careful with your thoughts of and for each other and your mutual interactions and be aware that this intense, these intense energies will bring you to such a climax that it will seem too overwhelming for you to handle, but nothing is further from the truth, as these energies will lead you to your salvation. This is huge to take in and comprehend, and will in most cases lead to confusion. That's why we again stress the fact to remain centered in your heart. This is of the utmost importance. The coming days and more specifically, the energies of the eclipses, will reveal much concerning disclosure, the truth about your existence and ours, as a few projects have been started up in the time frame of these eclipses, implying that you yourselves will bring disclosure to the forefront. We can only applaud you for this and rest assured that it will reach many, many hearts, and viewing it from this position, it will be an astounding success. End of quote. Quoted from Adama. Indeed, you have entered the final chapter of the planetary changes that were planned based on the cosmic cycles a very long time ago. Vibrational changes are on the horizon with much intensity. You are simply in the middle of those changes you were prepared for before your recent physical assignment. The planet is ready for the transformation. The same readiness is valid from your side. All that will unfold is not in a future time anymore. In whatever form, these transformational energies can be brought into your reality field. Just stay tuned to the navigational system your heart is connected to. There is a delicate balance between your newly forming heart, brain and heart, are connected in a way that could not have been presented earlier. You're ready to feel, and this is the most important sign for readiness. It is indeed a roller coaster in many of your lives because the changes and transformations on your personal level are accelerating. Keep up the good work, beloved ones. These changes you are experiencing on a daily basis now are all the symptoms of the greatest transformation you as humanity are going through. End of quote. We have shared before in previous updates. There will be no stopping this energy momentum. The anticipated release of Sirius assisted us in this process as focused energy was placed upon this event and all participants. As a result of the curiosity many had about this movie. What we saw in this documentary, although some parts were irrelevant and many of you who read and listen to our updates already know the information. That, that he shared. It did represent a, a lightning, a spark of interest for seeking truth from those who are unaware of what has happened and is happening on this planet and how they've been under control. In this way, the release of the movie Sirius could be a success if it can reach out to the program masses. Over 11,000 people piled into the room to watch the red carpet event for Sirius, which carried many codes of seated truths. The next day, we observed over 40,000 likes to the Sirius movie Facebook page. We have definitely arrived at the first visible signs of full disclosure by the people, planet-wide peace, 
and true equality. The ball, at least, is now rolling, and this planet's destiny is unfolding, which is home unto the light. Quoted from Kara Shalak. We've gone through lots of changes and intensity, guiding us gently or kicking and screaming to our destiny. That of living our soul's plan, and in the higher dimensions of love, who we are, and unity, who we are together. There is no duality in this space. And if you are still experiencing duality, opposites, which is a 3D illusion, ask yourself if you are perpetuating it by actively taking part in it or are looking outside yourself for answers and or confirmation that duality still exists or that you experience it based on the fact that that's what you're used to, not paying attention to your inner knowing. Go below the surface. Let go of outer illusions that dictate to you that indeed nothing has changed. I want to tell you, those of us who choose to see life with 5D and above, see that in truth we have transcended the schism of duality. It's your choice as to how you see the world. One choice is to see love everywhere, thereby empowering a world of wholeness. Another choice is to see duality everywhere and see the world as broken, and you empower this. However you choose to see the world is truly how you see yourself. We are in a time when so many high frequencies are connecting with the earth. We are constantly being infused with light codes and are in direct communication with the higher realms, whether we realize this or not. We are awakening fully to our divinity, and that should be our only focus. For when it is, everything else aligns with it and is created from it. Our consciousness is rising and expanding, which creates new life. As we focus on how we feel, we are guided. And as we focus on love only, we see that the old dissolves and we step more and more into our placement of being the divine, Christ of beings, that is the truth of who we are. Also, you may now receive new guides as a result of your heightened consciousness. Indeed, we are definitely in the new earth, and it's becoming more and more obvious as we observe dispassionately at all that is occurring. All is in divine order. Take a deep breath and be gratitude for your place and purpose of bringing a new consciousness to earth and all of life, transforming the old into a higher grace." End of quote. Now that the release of Sirius has occurred, our next incoming event is the citizens hearing on disclosure at the end of the week. How synchronistic. This is another unprecedented event for the planet occurring when so many are now more aware of extraterrestrial presence and it's more planet-wide accepted. They are anticipating this to be a breakthrough event. We send all of our love for the highest outcome for this event. Quoted from Connie Willis, political activist Stephen Bassett, along with researchers and military witnesses, will tell their stories before former members of the U.S. House and Senate at the Citizens' Hearing on Disclosure starting at the end of April in Washington, D.C. They will testify about events and evidence that supports the idea that many people have an extraterrestrial presence regularly engaging the human race. Their goal is to end the alleged E.T. truth embargo. As controversial as UFOs and aliens are, the last time Congress held a hearing and addressing the extraterrestrial issue was in 1968. How can that be? There are so many daily sightings around the globe, some telling of crafts that are stupendous in size. It is thought by some, myself included, that if we were all privy to knowing that ETs exist, we could cure every disease, every mental disorder and energy problem, because it is thought the alien visitors have these answers. I believe disclosure will tell us who we are as humans and what our role is in this universe. 
I also believe we humans are ready to handle the truth of these other beings. Good luck to those attending the citizens' hearing on disclosure, speaking, about, speaking out about what you and many countless others have witnessed in the sky. I am quite sure the day will come when your efforts and courage will be acknowledged by the masses. End of quote. The truth is being revealed now in grander and grander ways. As more of the New Earth energies enter this planet, many are having the courage to stand up through spoken word, movies, documentaries, blogs, global meditations, websites, sharing information with others via video, internet groups, gatherings, and social network sites. This is spreading the web of light far and wide with intensity. The more information shared, the more others have the opportunity to break free from the chains of the old paradigm of power over. And it's time to move into equality with power with. Quoted from James Gilliand. James Gilliand describes how we break, break free from the uh, old paradigm matrix. First, we have to understand who the Archon Minions are and their program to break free. The Minions are an ancient collective of discarnate spirits, regenerate ETs, some greys, reptilians, and serpent beings who feed off negativity and care nothing for humanity and the Earth. Their program is to keep you enslaved through your very own mind and to create as much separation, fear, pain, and suffering as possible. This is done with programming, various kinds of media, societal programming, psychotronic technology, using elf, microwave, radionic, and other frequencies, not to mention mind-to-mind -mind manipulation with the Archon Minions. The television and the news is one of the most obvious designed to keep you fearful, insecure, and in need of a savior outside of yourself. It is also designed to keep you focused on the material world, acquiring acceptance and approval outside of self, being well-adjusted to society for your very survival. Krishnamurti best summed up this process with the quote, It is no measure of health to be well-adjusted to a profoundly sick society. That being said, let's look at society. We must also look at the social, economic, and environment conditions. Look at the wars, the diseases, the unbridled greed and corruption in government, the disempowerment of most religions, and complete failure to bring man and woman closer to the God, Creator, Spirit within, as well as unify humanity. Do we have universal peace? Do we have brotherly, sisterly love throughout humanity? Do we have individual freedom and prosperity for all? Do we have a clean, pristine environment? What is the condition of our air, water, and land? Let's not dismiss these questions too readily without using brutal honesty. Who's in control of this planet? The next question, and again using brutal honesty, is are you contributing to the mess? Are you a part of the problem? or part of the solution? Are you trapped in the Archon Matrix, Minion Matrix, matrix, making choices and acting according to soul and spirit, or the programmed mind and manipulated ego? Who do you serve? God or ego? The Minions Network first and foremost goal is to separate man and woman from the God within. It is to keep you focused on the external and control you through the base attitudes and emotions of the first three chakras, survival, sex, and power. It cannot let you operate from the heart, because once you move up into the heart and beyond, it loses its power over you. The heart is love, love felt, deep profound love for all of humanity and the earth. The throat is love expressed. Not a lot of that going around. 
The third eye is God seen in all things, and the top of the head is I am God at one mint. Now we have to ask again with brutal honesty, are the heart and the other higher chakras being expressed in today's society or our own daily lives? Are these higher forms of expression coming from our leadership? When we engage others, are we in a me-I mode? How can this best serve me? Or are we in service? How can this best serve the whole? The closer to enlightenment, the more you will be tempted, challenged, and completely screwed with to take you off the path. The minions are famous for using friends, family, and lovers to distract you and pull you away from your soul purpose, from your God, Creator, Spirit connection. Few have the moral character, character, courage, sensitivity, and training to keep themselves from the manipulations and control of the archons and their network of the unconscious and the ignorant. The key to breaking free and ending the spell of the minions is within. It is not from without, as they would love you to believe. There is a powerful, manifesting, loving, joyous God goddess within each and every one. The spark awaiting to become the full flame. Go within. Meditate in nature. Learn to heal unseen negative influences and the prayer of manifestation from the God of your being. Have an open, loving heart and be pure intent. Do no harm to humanity or the earth. Be of impeccable integrity, and when you slip, clean up your mess. Forgive yourself, forgive others. Develop a sense of gratitude, and when spirit wants to speak through you or send love into a situation that needs love and understanding and light, do not block the flow. Become like a hollow bone for source without fear or trepidation. Now is the time to rise. Claim your divinity. Support others in their awakening who are empowering you and leading you to the God within. There are legions, seen and unseen, helping in this grand awakening. Do not think you're alone. The heart in which you seek is the heart in which you connect. It's not about being saved. It is about rising to the occasion. You are the ancient ancestors, the off-worlders, the elves and the fairies, the gods incarnate you have been waiting for. It is time to reunite. When one becomes one with the one consciousness that encompasses all consciousness on all planes and dimensions throughout the universe, when one ignites that spark within, to become the full flame, it is all of you, and you are free. The old program matri matrix network is being exposed for what it is, unraveling and being torn asunder, making way for a new earth. We must realize, we must release the past, awaken and heal, if we are going to continue on this ride. Any choices and actions to the contrary will be met by universal law, what is known as karma or the reaction, which is becoming almost inst instantaneous due to the quickening. We are not so clever as to outwit our souls and the universe. You cannot serve two gods and cannot have one foot in the minion network and one in the kingdom of heaven. Heaven on earth is not divided. Be well and Godspeed. End of quote. We keep repeating the game is over for the denser energies because this is true. This planet has until December 21st, 2014 to adjust to the 5D frequencies and no program ego mind can make it through. We will share with you again, this planet is existing in these 5D frequencies so there is no other choice except the light path, one way or the other. Only love will exist on planet Earth, you are. The light and balanced harmonics is humanity's natural state of being and Mother Earth equal hearts decree.
Everybody is moving into balanced harmonics, which is 5D frequencies. Quoted from Sarah. No being of any sort has the right to control another being, period. Become aware. Stop lying to yourself and allowing your mind or ego to lie to you. For the minions or the denser energies, it's a big mess right now. They know they are dying. And the ones most resistant to move into the light will be removed. This is the Earth's wish. She is done tolerating this and has put the call out to either comply to her wishes to ascend or she will personally remove you. The old ways are done and it's a new age of love, caring, divine. The goddess, God age, balanced harmonics. Get with the program. I was sharing two nights ago similar information about the earth and her decision to proceed and remove those who are not willing to change, yet rather play games. And that many are leaving due to choosing to leave or not being able to accept change. End of quote. The first steps towards the disclosure movement by the people, for the people, has arrived. And we feel many more will now step forward in this movement on various levels. Be love in action. Share the truth via social networks and websites. Real light is true information. This is how we can be, the mo be of the greatest assistance for humanity in these moments. Humanity is here on this planet to experience and participate in the divine plan. If they're not present in the moment of now, they're just missing it. Decreed by heaven. We had intense energies incoming for the eclipse and full moon event. More processes and codes will be activated for the first waivers. The frequency of the planet has raised and is raising now more quickly as processes of events unfold. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth equal heart. Remember, loves, we are not in a, in a time linear schedule. We are in a divine one. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission and all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff. Humanity's Earth Allies, the Company of Heaven, and the First Contact Ground Crew Team. We love you. We are here in service to you. Mwah.